In this video, I'm going over optimizing Steam games so they run faster, launch faster, just play a lot smoother. With a lot of these options, you can easily enable and really drastically improve your quality of life when it comes to gaming through Steam on Linux. So I'm about to jump on the desktop here. I just want you to know all I'm doing is just showing launch options in Steam. There's a lot of different things you can do on launch options and there's probably a couple things I'm gonna leave out here that I just don't know about. So let me know in the comments below if I missed your favorite launch option that you like to use because I'm always interested in seeing what else is out there because there's so many. But also in the description down below, I'm gonna put every option available to where you can kind of tinker around and see. I'm gonna put short descriptions. So the description holds all that information just so you have that knowledge so you can easily reference it or copy and paste into your Steam from this video. It'll really help you out in the future because I know I'll reference this video to do the exact thing when I'm installing and configuring games. So with all that said, let's go ahead and jump over to the desktop. So let's get down to the nitty gritty, go over some launch options to make Steam games run way faster. Now this is, I'm gonna show you a lot of little shortcuts I've learned over the years and things that just make games pretty awesome. Whether you're using Windows or Linux, a lot of these can be used in Windows, especially this very first one I'm gonna show you. Now, the Fallout franchise, and Skyrim for that matter, launches into a launcher, and then from the launcher, you launch into the game. Now, a lot of people are like, well, just go into the file and rename it and do all this other crap. Well, I don't like touching any of the source files instead, I like to just rename some launch options. So I'm gonna go over this real fast. Let me see if I can't go to the beginning here. Now, to send a command like the, the percent sign command percent sign basically just says launch the game using the default executable that Steam has allocated to this game, which is fallout nv launcher.exe. This next command actually says, hey, replace the regular command, which is the fallout nv launcher.exe with fallout nv.exe. This bypasses the launcher into the executable. So you could use this in many games. Uh, just know that you can just replace the original executable file. You have to know what it's launching, that launcher. And then dash, the actual forward slash, and then the actual exe that launches the game. And then basically Steam does the swap for you. Pretty incredible stuff. I absolutely love this command. I use it all the time, especially for a lot of Bethesda-based games that launch out of Steam. It saves a lot of time after doing the initial configuration because why do you need to stare at a launcher every time? That's just silly. So without that, I just go ahead and hit OK and then go ahead and launch the game and never have to see that launcher screen again. Now the next game that has a lot of launcher options is my Quake Champions. This is a game that just notoriously runs bad on both Windows and Linux. However, on Linux I can do some stuff to make it kind of bearable. It still runs under par. I mean, I don't think this is a great Linux game by any means. However, using these options you can actually kind of break it in and it'll run pretty much just as good as it does on your windows system you'll still take a performance hit on this specific game just because it's just not very linux friendly but the first command here is mesa gl thread equals true if you're an amd graphics card user the mesa underscore gl thread sometimes can help in some games other times it's actually detrimental so don't use this on every single game obviously but games you're having problems with tick it on take a look and see what kind of performance you have out of that the next one ld underscore preload this is actually game mode i did an entire video over game mode which I'll link up here on a card, but basically you're pulling this file to activate game mode when this game launches. The default actual 
variables sometimes doesn't work on systems on mine it didn't so i had to do this the ld underscore preload and then where the game mode executable or, or library was to basically activate it so uh in that video on the game mode video i show you how to track down this if you've installed game mode and it's not working using their instructions by all mean use this variable when you launch and it'll really help you out next next on the list is proton no esync equals one this variable is used a lot in linux gaming mainly because esync doesn't work great in a lot of games however i think it is overused many people just jump on the bandwagon and just use it on every game which is a big no-no in my book because esync is a wonderful thing and what esync does is it takes a little of the overhead off of wine making wine run smoother so a lot of times why people add the no esync is the cut scenes start getting a little jittery and stutter uh, and when that happens, they do no e-sync and it kind of clears that portion up. A good game where this is evident is Quake Champions, where there's a lot of stuttering. Also, Grand Theft Auto V, there's a lot of stuttering in cutscenes where it go from action to cutscene and you'd see the stutter. So, Proton no e-sync equals one on this, just disabling e-sync is, is pretty much needed. And then at the very end, when you're done with this command, you, you need to actually add the percent command percent. Almost all of these is just setting the environmental variables and then you need to make sure that the command to launch the game is done. So that's what the percent command percent is. It always should be at the very end. The only time it's not at the end is let's say there's certain options you need to do to the game you can actually add this after the percent command percent. This is evident like when you do Windows based options or launch options uh, in Linux, it's a little different to where it would be after this command. So all your environmental variables go before it and then any like Windows based triggers or options would go after it. So to expand on this command, let's go ahead and add an FPS counter. I know this uses dxvk, so I can do this command, dxvk underscore HUD equals FPS space. Now this would add an FPS counter in the top right or top left. In the description below, I'll leave the entire command set for these variables so you can kind of tinker around with some of them. Like let's say I wanted to see FPS and frame times that's another one that you can do. And this expands the DXVK heads up display to not only display the FPS, but also the frame times that you're getting. So it helps with troubleshooting and other things. A lot of people take this to the extreme and do like dev info and other stuff. And it just puts up a bunch of crap on your screen that really nobody cares about, but it kind of looks kind of technical and cool. So people do it in YouTube videos, which drives me crazy because they don't even show how to set up the damn game and they're just trying to throw a bunch of stuff on the screen to say, hey, look at me, I'm smart. Ugh, it kills me every time. Every time I see that, I'm just like, no, where's the, where's the thumbs down button? I'm hitting it. <laughs> so anyways, that is the launch options you need for this. There are a couple other launch options I didn't mention, and it's like the GL caching, which you'll see it in the description below. I go ahead and put it down there so you can tinker with it, but it's an NVIDIA optimization. I don't have any NVIDIA equipment here, so therefore I'm all AMD and I don't ever use those. Also, Steam has been doing really good with adding a lot of these caching options as of late. So if you're on a beta Steam, you'll notice that a lot of these commands really don't even make much of a difference where they used to make a huge difference. And also, you know, a lot of the caching is actually being done in Steam. You'll notice sometimes you'll launch into Steam on Linux and you'll see what the hell is downloading caching categories and content. Well, that's what it's doing. It's kind of optimizing these games so when you go to play them, they actually run pretty smooth because of the caching's already been done on the front end. Well, there you have it. That was optimizing performance in Steam games. 
I absolutely love tinkering around with a lot of these launch options because it really does improve a lot of your quality of life when it comes to launching games through Steam. You can make things run so buttery smooth and completely skip over a launchers, which is just amazing. But if there's any options I did miss, let me know in the comments section below. And a big shout out to my Patreons. Without you, this video would not be possible. And I'll see you in the next video.